Welcome back, everybody. I can't really call you spring sprouts anymore because I'm pretty sure it's officially summer, but uh, I am trying so hard to concentrate on real world stuff. We just got back from Kauai. Um, if you guys are just joining me for the first time, my name is Nina. We do a lot of gardening, we travel when we can, and we do a lot of fishing. So we just came back from the northernmost of the Hawaiian chain, Kauai, and uh, it was, oh my God. We did take several videos there. You can find them on our page if you want to watch them. Um, but yeah, I'm back at it. Like chores, oh my God, my potatoes desperately need hilling. They're way behind. My greens are like flowering and going to seed. I pretty much missed like half my salad. I didn't even get any spinach because my arugula grew so fast, but we have a lot to do today. I got plants to put in the ground. I've got to weed the corn patch. Definitely have to hill these potatoes. Got a lot of trimming to do there. Ugh, it's gonna be a day. There's never enough hours in the day.
guess I get to go give these to the neighbor. <laughs> All right, moving on to the potatoes. Now, as you can see, over the course of about two weeks, things got completely out of control. The soil needs to be about this high at this point. I'm way, way, way behind. I'm gonna have to put another board on here. I should have done that already. Uh. So I'm just gonna go in and trim the bush a little. <laughs> Try to free up some of the space down here so that I can mulch it really good and get these hilled up. You guys watched the video when I built these beds you know that I am a big fan of using wheat straw. A lot of people have asked me how did that turn out for my weeds and grasses and things like that. Never really had a problem. It's never been overwhelming or something that I couldn't just walk by every few weeks and pick out like one or two little pieces but this will save you a fortune though on how much soil you're using. It helps with water retention, it helps with drainage, it's just the best of both worlds. So we're gonna spread a couple inches uh, around the base of these and then we're gonna cover that with soil. So they are going to need more dirt than that, but I'm going to have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get another board because I'm already out of room, but uh, I kind of, I, I apologize. This is not a good impression of how to grow potatoes. I should have been on this weeks ago, but vacation messed everything up. I'm not sorry, but whew. Glad I got that done. Whew. Feels good out here once you work up a sweat. Um, that will continue to settle. I'll still have to put more dirt in there, but like we said, we got to build the uh, bed itself a little bit higher, a little bit deeper. But I do have a lot of attention to give to my salad bed, and here to help me is my mom. Welcome to my garden. She's visiting from Florida. She stayed with the puppies while we were in Kauai. Hello, she taught me everything I know about gardening, and now she gets to help me harvest a lot of this beautiful stuff. We're not going to pick all of it, um, because this is this two rows of romaine, and they're coming on really, really well. And that's got some time, but uh, our Swiss chard is like, I don't know, can you even see that? It's like two feet high. Like here's my, here's my foot for comparison. <laughs> and uh, the arugula went so insane, I can't even get it all in the frame, that it pretty much choked out the spinach. 
it's trying, like it's desperately wanting to live. And then we have nasturgiums and a few other things planted here that just aren't getting any light whatsoever. So this guy is pretty much, we're gonna have to bring him down. <laughs> See all these little babies on here coming off? Yeah. These are all nice tender ones. You can eat all of these. Oh, but so. this main one, I would. I, <laughs> the first one that I grabbed when I got home was one of the fat ones, and yeah, it was hot and spicy. This main stem here that's gone to seed, that's fixing to go to seed, is your, is your main stem. So all these nice little ones on the sides, you can break all these off for salad. They're nice and tender. Eat your, your mulch. Why is it spicy? Like, what is that? It's arugula. I, I know, but oh my god. It's in the mustard family. It's really hot. Mm -hmm. It's in the mustard family. Woo! So we do have two clear rows here, and uh, I'm not ready to be done with the arugula because it's still got a little ways to go as far as what it can give. But uh, I've got to give my spinach here some room, so we're going to pull up this first line. Double. Look at yeah, this. What a beauty. Oh Put your dirt God. back in here. Keep your good dirt. You guys can tell I've never grown these before. Every year, that's my goal. Every year I do something new and special and something that's I've exciting. never That's exciting. That's exciting. <laughs> that's the oh, way there it goes. Do right All right. All of this. I love that. Hmm. I love how much room the spinach has now. Oh, I do have just a tiny little bit of bug damage. Not bad though. Overall, it did great. Get all the dirt off, you guys. Remember our little rhyme, beans, roots, greens, fruits. We had roots in this bed last, now we're doing our greens. The next is fruits, so that means we get to put peppers here. Mm -hmm. And I happen to have some peppers to plant. Last one, all right. What will we do with all this arugula? Oh, because it's going to seed, right? And this is gonna be the new leader. Okay. If you do that, they will not go to seed and they will keep producing. Well, but I do, oh, okay, hold on. I do want to leave as many blooms in the garden as possible, even if my stuff is going to seed for the bees. That's why I've got this over here. And this, to answer any uh, curious people, this was a Brussels sprout that I planted last year and it managed to survive the winter and is now just this huge, wonderful, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Yes, I feel like there is order in the bed again. Everything's organized. Oh, yay! <laughs> we appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, Mom's gonna be with me for a few more days. We were fortunate enough that she had a longer trip than I did, so even though she was here for a week with the dogs, I got to still spend some time with her. But uh, she's given me some good tips for the garden and I can't wait to share them with you, but they are family secret, so gonna have to boil it down a little bit.